riffling again. I picked out some cool things for you, haven't I? Yeah. I know her style well. We've just had the best, best, so the best good. thrifting sesh. Honestly, it was so good. We went to like stores that we've never really been in before. Um, we had some really good time. Yeah. We're really happy. I'll show you what I got. I'm really excited. I'm so oh, excited. so pretty, look. So do you. Hey guys, so you know that when I have got my camera out, I have something exciting to show you. So as in the last clip, me and Emily went on a little thrift, just because it's so much fun and it's just like kind of quirky and a cool thing to do. Um, and it's like shopping without the guilt. It's like shopping and being like, this is a really great thing to do rather than, oh, I feel bad, but I want this. Do you know what I mean? Um, and also Emma Chamberlain has really like inspired me to be like thrifting more often. So today we went to a few stores that we never go to. We kind of tend to go to like the same two stores when we go thrifting. But this time we were like, no, we're going on a tour of the town. and <laughs> We are going to go to all of the stores. So we did. Um... It was very exciting. As you know, I got this yesterday. Oh my god, I love it so much. And I've got some even more exciting purchases today. So that's what I'm going to show you. So I'll start off with this. It's probably the smallest thing. Um, it's a little Tchaikovsky record. I have a little record player in the corner of my room. If you didn't know that. This is so good. I love the colour of it. I just, the, the art is so nice. And I got it because it's the Swan Lake thing and I love the Swan Lake soundtrack or would you call it a soundtrack? I don't know sorry if you wouldn't call it a soundtrack I should know these things but I then got basically okay so basically I saw these and I was like I'll come back and try them on and then I left and I was like I need to go back now because I want to try them on so it's these shoes here they're very like very preppy very Parisian maybe? I don't know. Um, they're also very high but I did try them on and they are so easy to walk in because they have this little, it's like a t-bar strap kind of but it's, I don't know, it kind of waves out. And they're my size. I was worried they'd be too big because I have to size down in stilettos um, but they actually fit especially with the strap. So I just thought they were really cute and they're nice, um, not like everyday shoes, but they're nice like dinner shoes, maybe with like a cute plaid skirt and maybe the coat that I'm about to show you. I got this and I absolutely love it. It's so like soft and comfortable and there's these really cute pom-poms on. This was such a random purchase, but it's just going to be so nice for when I'm like sat at home editing. Like that's why I got it basically. I'm probably not going to wear it out, but... Yeah, I, just, I was just like, why not? It looks so soft and comfy and literally, like, I'm very excited about this. And then I got, this is, this is definitely the most exciting thing. I'm so excited. Oh, I'm just like, I couldn't believe it when I saw this. Look at this. Like, I'm not doing it justice, but it's like a pink trench coat. Very preppy, very Parisian again. Uh, very Freddie, my love. I know she would love this. It's from Debenhams and it just has like the cute little buttons on <gasps> and I love it so much. Oh my god, it's so nice. Wow. Wow. And it's this cute little polo shirt. It is a Lacoste one and it's like um, black with white and red stripes. It is very dark and I try and stay away from wearing dark clothing that often. But I just thought it was cool and when I'm feeling less preppy and I'm just feeling a bit more casual yeah like a casual cool vibe I hate myself then this is gonna look cute so I was happy with that that was all of my purchases because I didn't take much cash out with me today because I've been trying not to take too much cash out because then I don't spend it but tomorrow I'm gonna take the cash out with me and buy more things so you can expect another very little haul that basically I saw some things that I want to buy but it was literally only like a few little things. Um, but yeah, this was so much fun and I'm obsessed with this coat. So I just got the email from YouTube about the partnership and monetization changes. And basically I got the email saying that I am no longer eligible. It's not because of my subscribers, which is good, because I do over have, have over a thousand subscribers, which I'm so thankful for. It's because of my watch time. To be honest, I don't meet the threshold to collect money from YouTube anyway, so it's not going to make a difference to me 
whatsoever. I guess I'll just put that out in the vlog, but YouTube, I don't know why they're doing this and it's not really affecting me because I never make money off YouTube and I've been not making money off YouTube for five years and still doing it, so literally doesn't make a difference to me. Um, if I did want to do a partnership program, I have had offers and emails of partner um, companies and things like that, so I could totally still do it, I just have to go through a different network. I've done that before, but I left and went back to YouTube partnership program just because I personally think it's a lot easier, and now obviously I don't have the option, so I could go elsewhere, but for the moment, I don't really care. But I know there are some people who are going to care about this. Um, so, yeah, I thought, it, I, I felt like I had to address it because it's a thing that's happening on YouTube currently, and it's a thing that has affected me, even though it hasn't actually affected me. But it could affect me if I was making money off YouTube, but I'm not. But, yeah. Don't know why you're doing it, YouTube, but you're not going to get to me. No way, Jose. However, the partnership program is supposed to help you grow. I don't know how much it does, um, because being a small channel for over five years, I'm not sure it actually does kind of help you grow. Just saying. Um, but it feels like it's just kind of like a kick in the teeth to smaller creators, and it, you know, it sucks. The principles of it suck, basically. That's, that's the point that sucks. But yeah, so, yeah. Okay, so I was just looking at my watch time, um, and I haven't calculated it into hours yet, but while I was looking at it for the past year, I, um, my views have come up, and like likes and everything, and I realised that in the past year, I've had 30,450 views, and 980 likes, which is really crazy, like, I know it's not big on YouTube, but to me, uh, my small little life, that is a lot, and that's a lot of people watching my videos, and I've also had 533 subscribers this year, which is over 500 people in the last 12 months who've gone, yeah, I want to watch more of that, which is crazy, and I don't think I thank you guys enough for watching, um... I would happily do YouTube for the next 20 years being a small channel. Growth is not important to me anymore. I just want to be here and do it. And that's what I've always done. So, yeah. I guess I'm just being quite grateful for that. I just keep freaking out about how cute this coat is. It's so cute. It's so cute. I mean, it's just, it's so, it's so cute. Like, it's so cute and it fits so nicely so cute i fully love this jumper so much it's so fluffy i've actually wanted like one like this for ages um and i was just like oh my gosh i need it, it it's like such a nice fit as well because it's like not too big and not too small and oh, i love it happy midnight guys it's literally just turned midnight and i have made risotto i'm gonna watch some youtube and then edit another video because I just finished editing I just got to class and I'm wondering why all the windows are open when it's 4 degrees outside <coughs> also all the tables and chairs are like moved so I'm just sat here waiting for more people to come I don't really know what to do I have 10 minutes into my class I just had nothing else to do so I thought Come to class, but um, the one day I don't bring my laptop to college is the day when I have nothing to do, so I actually don't. I might do some colouring. Let's do some. No, because then when people will walk in, they'll see me colouring in, and that's really lame. But I guess I'll just sit on my phone, might watch a YouTube video. So I need one of these, but I want a white one, not a black one. This is genuinely like stressing me out. My charger broke last night. This is like the only reason I came in Wilco's. Just got in from college and thought I'd give you a quick OOTD, even though it's not very exciting, but I have my new coat on, which I am so obsessed with. Uh, I have this black crop top from New Look. Um, the coat's from Debenhams, if I didn't say yesterday. Black jeans, and then I... And then I wore my white trainers, because they have, like, pink on the back. 
but yeah, there's a bit of tension now. But <laughs> now I'm going to show you a quick haul of some things that I got today. Okay, so I'm going. I'm having to like refilm this clip on a completely different day. It's like weeks later now. Um, but yeah, I lost the footage of me showing you what I bought, so I'm going to have to show you again. <laughs> so let's just start off with this. So I got this jumper, and it's like um, a thick roll neck ribbed white and this is so warm and so comfy honestly I love this like I've worn it like quite a few times since I got it um, and I really 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 like it so I'm so happy I picked that up and um, I then got these checkered leggings I absolutely love these like I love them so much I have worn these a few times as well they were originally from New Look so they are so comfy as well, like, oh my gosh, so comfy. And then also, I was so excited about this. I haven't actually worn this yet. I um, think I'm going to wear it tomorrow. But it's originally from Topshop Petite. It's in my exact size. And it's like um, this thick, ribbed, cropped, stripy top. And it has like a nice neck. It has nice sleeves. Basically, this is like such good quality. And I was like, oh, so cool. I was so happy to pick that up. Like... I just can't explain it, like this is really thick, so it's like one of those cool tops that like looks like it's summery but it's warm so I can wear it in like autumn, winter, spring and the summer because it's always cold in England. Hey ya! Right, so now my battery's died on my camera, I'm so done, um, but I literally just picked up these like cool scarf things, um, so I got this one. Look how cute it is, it's got little flowers on it. I'm um, not quite sure what to do with this. I mainly got it for like decoration purposes. Um, I don't know. Um, I have this one which is really nice. I've like cut a bit of this off and wrapped it um, on one of my bags and it looks so cute. So I got that one. And then I got this like thin um, pink one. I think in, what I'm going to do is like trim this and then in the summer... It will make one of those cute little neckerchief things and I can kind of look like a um, Rizzo out of Greece. Like, yeah. Oh my gosh, so feeling it. I mean, maybe maybe not with this jumper, but yeah. That was pretty much everything I got. I also got a Boots meal deal. I got um, one of the yoghurt pots. I got a tomato and basil mozzarella salad and a drink, a smoothie, I think. So yeah, that was everything I got. I just had a nap for like an hour and a half and I have dancing in literally, well I have to leave in literally five minutes. Guys, my mum is an actual like a patron saint because you know how I'm always stealing her hairdryer? She has just given me it and swapped it with my one. So I was like, oh my gosh, thank you. Um, very happy about that. Hi guys and welcome to my generic outro that I am going to put on the end of all my vlogs that I forget to sign off. I really hope that you enjoyed. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. And if there's anything that, if there's anything you'd like to see me do in a vlog, like something that isn't really like a main video worthy, but you'd like me to do it, then let me know. Or if you have any main video ideas, then please hit me up with that. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. I've been trying to be so much more active this year. And so far, so good, I think. Of course, follow me on all of my social medias. They are always down below. I'm always active on there, especially on Snapchat and Instagram. And if I gain like a more active following on Twitter, then I'll definitely be using that a little bit more. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully see you in the next video. And bye.